Hello, my name is Nicholas Broughton and I'm an artist. I actually didn't go to art college, I'm a self-taught artist and uh, I paint various things. At the moment I'm doing a series called Favelas, which you can see behind me here, which are actually the shanty towns of Brazil or anywhere in the world actually. Uh, poverty seems to be everywhere in the world and I paint these things because they make me feel grateful that I don't actually have to live in one of these things, but it's ironic. But uh, I enjoy painting them. I paint them with bitumen. I add gold leaf, uh, various acrylics, various tints that I make up myself. And uh, I scratch them and put all kinds of things to give them texture and substance. Favelas aren't the only things I actually paint. Uh, I love doing figurative work. I'm influenced by a Brazilian artist called Di Cavalcanti and also Pablo Picasso in a way. But I love painting women with big bottoms. I don't know why, but I love the curves and the uh, voluptuousness of these kind of things. Maybe it's because I was brought up in Brazil and hung around the beach a lot. And as you all know, Brazilian women on the beach are great to look at in that. Uh, I was born in Africa, in Mali. I lived in France, England, Brazil, and ended up in Australia, where I am now. Uh, I came to New York for this exhibition with Show de Bola with a, a great friend of mine called Lida Maria who's almost taken me under her wing and kind of lets me travel around sometimes with her doing various exhibitions. As far as my art concerned, uh, I've painted pretty much all my life but as some of you probably know, you can't always make a great living as an artist. So when I first started off, I was probably the poorest artist in London, that's where I actually started painting. So I got my job in a kitchen in the winter where it's warm and there's lots of food so I could sustain my beautiful voluptuous figure and keep on painting. Uh, the cooking actually took me around the world as well. I ended up living in Bermuda and painting a lot of the scenes in Bermuda which are almost like the Barrier Reef in a way. You know, lovely sandy beaches, very kind of peaceful, those kind of things. But I soon got bored of those, uh, those types of paintings because I prefer a lot more energy and vibrancy in my work. You know, uh, my work is unplanned, as you can probably tell. Uh, there's houses scattered everywhere and, and things like that. And because I wasn't actually classically trained, I sometimes don't believe I can paint. So when I stand next to other artists who can kind of do fantastic realism and things like that, I kind of feel quite insecure and hide behind my canvas. But fortunately, some people seem to like my stuff, so I can actually sell a few things. Uh, especially here in New York, which is the place to be, apparently. We'll soon see at the end of this uh, New York Art Expo how I go there. When I leave New York, I'll go back to Australia. Uh, from walking around here, I've uh, got a lot of ideas of what other artists do. I don't mind copying and stealing ideas because I think humans from a young age learn by copying and imitating, as long as you don't directly steal. Uh, I will pinch bits and pieces from other artists and put them together, uh, which I've done here in a way, if you can see any influence in there, don't tell anyone. Uh, what else can I tell you about myself? Uh, I left school pretty early, didn't really uh, go for the educational side of things. Uh, I've always thought I was creative and I've kind of worked on that throughout my life. I hope it takes me where I want to go, which is a full-time artist surviving. I'm always very grateful for what I can do and very grateful for, for the uh, so-called gift I've been given. And most of the time, I'm, I'm pretty happy with where I'm going. I do get depressed sometimes when I kind of sit there and have exhibitions where sometimes people don't even turn up. So I kind of hide in the back room and hopefully uh, no one actually notices. But I've had exhibitions where I've sold quite a few works as well. So it's, it's kind of up and down. And I suppose that's what life is like for me, up and down. Uh, I like to remember the good bits and uh, learn from the bad bits. I suppose that's all I've got to say at the moment. I hope you like my art. I hope you check out my website. I hope you buy my art. Thank you very much for listening to me. Bye-bye.